people are training incredibly hard nowadays. Yes, and you think that most training programs, um, you know, they're not distinguished by sex, and we have different bodies, so they should be. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a whole nother issue that one. Now it's uh, fitting that a day after Guy Fawkes we have a story about a competition to find New Zealand's next generation of rocket scientists. The Skills Bright Sparks finalists are up and down the country but four of them are from one school. Auckland's North Cross Intermediate. I'm going to write that one down. Mm -hmm. Uh, Carolyn (laughs) Robinson paid a visit to some very bright sparks. At North Cross Intermediate not one Not two, not even three, but four girls are among the brightest sparks in the land. There must be something in the water. It's incredible. They have just gone above and beyond what any of our expectations were. This girl is on fire! Summer designed a device to help with conservation. I made a hardware and a software component and I call it TouchWord. The hardware component measures the temperature and humidity next to the soil. Then it transmits this data via Bluetooth back to the app that I built. Then the app shows you kind of the results that it's got for your location. Then you can compare those conditions with other conditions in the database. Then there's Angelina who made a Lego machine that uses coding to serve balls. At 12, she's the youngest finalist. I like playing table tennis, but no one really has time to practice with me, so I decided to make this. Are you pretty pleased with it? Yeah. Casey was also thinking about sports. I made a rip-about, so it's not a normal rip-about. In the game of Ripper Rugby, sometimes when you get ripped, you don't hear it and you carry on. Or maybe this person doesn't yell rip and you don't hear the rip being ripped. And then you get penalised for it, so that means the ball goes over to the other team. And that was a problem that I really wanted to fix because I'd experienced myself. Isabella is focused on healthcare. I've created a more smaller, more portable, sustainable, um, easy access to epinephrine, which is a drug you need to delay your allergic reaction. And this budding entrepreneur has skin in the game. I have multiple food allergies and I've always been off the charts since I was little. So the only device that could do that was an EpiPen. It is this little 3D printed case. You basically just take off the lid and in here would be a pre-measured bit of epinephrine and it's on you instead of it having to like go through your bag and find it or instead of having somebody to run to the nurse office because those few seconds are really vital. The sisterhood's a supportive bunch. What do you think of each other's inventions? They're amazing. Yeah, I think they're, they're really, really cool. cool. They're all really different. creative and yeah. different. They're all different in their own ways. Like, we all created different things to help different problems. They've been so motivated to get it to the point where it is now. Um, yeah, we just, as a, as a school, as an all cross, we're super impressed and, yeah, couldn't be more proud. So, if it's not the water, what could it be? Girls. And from, from North, North Cross. Cross. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good on you, girls. North Cross. And, nice. yeah, North Cross doing very well. Uh, I love the idea of the uh, of the beeping for the rips. That was the one that stood out for me. Yeah, I think that's really good. I know that my son plays ripper rugby, and uh, some one team he played against was running uh, plastic rips. And they were shiny plastic, oh. and you gra- you couldn't grab them. No, that's smart. That is very smart. Yeah. And do you know what? There's nothing worse than if they lose their rips altogether. I mean, they're only five, but you're like, come on, how are they going to exactly. rip them? There's no rips there. Let them go. Very good invention. Uh, Skills Bright Sparks is New Zealand's longest uh, running national competition for young inventors, and the winners are going to be announced tomorrow, so we can give you that feedback. Coming up. How hard is it to be an understudy on a major international musical? Right.